I'd like to just quote a couple of letters written to the president by seniors. A woman in South Carolina wrote, Dear Mr. President, I'm 72 years old and have no one to take care of me. Another writer from Virginia pleaded, I'm a 60-year widow greatly in need of medical and food and fuel. I pray that you would have pity on me. Now, those were letters that were addressed to my grandfather uh, 73, 74, 75 years ago. But we could still hear from seniors along those lines today without Social Security or without adequate Social Security and Medicare. So times haven't changed that much. There are still people in need of a dignified retirement and in need of uh, the solid support of a guaranteed Social Security. That was true in 1935. It was true in 1983 when my father founded this organization, and it's true in 2008. 